Well, in its history, the Flag City Honor Flight has flown more than 1,400 veterans to visit their military monuments in Washington, D.C. And this year, more vets than ever making the trip as the group added a fourth flight for the year. Our Ethan Watts saw the group take off for its first flight of 2023 this morning. It's, it's just incredibly moving. Tuesday morning, emotions were high for all 85 veterans waiting to board the flight to Washington, D.C. And it's very emotional for them. Some of them... He was uh, early. Remembering the good old days. Uh, you remember Sam Baker. Others... The uh, Iwo Jima. Excited for what was to come. The wall, the Vietnam Wall. For every vet, there's a guardian for the trip. Some are meeting for the first time, but for a special few, they have known their guardian for their whole lives. Been looking forward to this for uh, six, eight months to have my son and my daughter and my best friend with me. Fantastic. I just don't have the words to express what it is an honor to have. It means a lot to me to have him going with me, holding on to my hand. All of the veterans will fly back home like they did so many years ago. But this time, it will be different. Nobody was telling us, hey, thanks. Now, it's, a cha it's changed. People appreciate what you did when you served overseas. Waiting for them, a welcome home party. And their grandkids and kids are here with their, with their posters up in the air. It, it means a lot to them, and it's just really special to see. It's going to mean a lot. Yeah. I'm very excited to see some of those guys receive that recognition. In Swanton, Ethan Watts, 13 ABC, Action News. They're breaking up there. We're yeah, just about breaking up here. Yeah, I'm getting a little emotional here, huh? watching this yeah. for sure. Well,